paying attention, you've probably seen that I've added a second kayak to my fleet. I added a Sun Dolphin Journey 10SS to my lifetime Tamarack Angler 100. I've taken them both out several times. The Tamarack Angler I've had out a lot more than the Sun Dolphin. Uh, I just wanted to kind of do a side-by-side -side direct comparison for you guys. So I'm going to start at the front and work my way back. So they both have little bungee cord systems at the very front. The Sun Dolphin is nice and flat, but it's a lot smaller area than the Lifetime. Uh, one other feature that the Journey does have is it's got a front and rear drain hole. The Lifetime only has a front drain hole for when water gets below deck. So moving back, we're going to get to the feet part. The Sun Dolphin Journey 10SS has got adjustable feet pads. Um, if you saw my other video from it, I'm not that happy about them. I had them adjusted as far up as they could go. I had the seat adjusted as far back as it could go. And my knees were just kind of squashed up. I don't know if you can tell in the film. And if I take those pedals out, I don't have enough to get all the way to the end of the, the kayak area down there to get stability. The Lifetime is a little bit simpler of a system. It's just kind of built in ribs on the side. Works fantastic. It should be great for any guys of any sizes. Uh, the Sun Dolphin, kind of feel like if you're between 6 foot, 6 foot 5, you're going to be out of luck with this thing. You're not going to be comfortable. The adjustable stuff is nice, but it's not adjustable in that size range, I believe. So next up, we're going to come to the fishing rod holders. The Sun Dolphin is a little bit smaller. It's got a locking mechanism on it, and it's kind of in the middle of your seat. The Lifetime, it's over here to the right, and it's a little bit bigger. It doesn't have a locking mechanism. But again, I like having a little bit bigger rod holder, so I can go out and use a little bit bigger pole. And I wasn't too crazy about it having it in between my legs there. I just kind of felt cramped with everything else. Uh, there's also a little area to hold your bottles kind of right above your fishing rod areas. The Lifetime, it's just a, a real simple one. It's not very complicated. Just throw your bottle there. Well, Sun Dolphin, it's a little bit nicer. It's got a little bungee strap system to make sure it doesn't get out of place. We'll run some Sun Dolphin on that one. We come back, they both have front hatch systems right in front of the seat. The Sun Dolphin is molded in, so it's just a really small area. But it'd be nice to keep a couple little things in there. The Lifetime, it's open access to the whole entire hole, so you can get to anything you need to. You know, it's nice for kayak camping, especially if you need to take a lot of gear with you. If you're trying to keep something, you know, one or two things in a little box, the Sun Dolphin box is a little better. If you're trying to actually be able to put stuff in yours, Lifetime is where it's at. So, we're going to get to the handles of, uh, next. So, Sun Dolphin's got nice, thick, sturdy handles over here on the side. I love these. I can pick these up with one hand because of that carry it. Sun Dolphin doesn't have that. It's got some little bungee strap systems. Uh, it looks like that's mostly for just kind of strapping your kayak paddle to it. Um, I wouldn't recommend picking it up by that. You're probably going to snap it. Uh, the one thing the Sun Dolphin does have that the Lifetime does not, it's got kind of, they say these are padded leg rails. Uh, my legs never touched it, so it wasn't that big an issue. One other thing I'll note, the Sun Dolphin, these, uh, the bungee cord leashes on the side for the kayak paddle, I hit my hands on this several times just because of where it was at. I, I'm not crazy about where that little uh, hook for the bungee cord is. Could be more on the side, I don't know. I hit my hands on it multiple times, though. It was enough to be an annoying issue. Uh, so like I said, we were working our way back to the seats. The Lifetime has a little bit more, uh, not too big of adjustable seat. You're sitting where you're sitting. The Lifetime, you can actually bring this cushion seat back forward a little bit, give you a little bit more support. Um, yeah, I think the Lifetime has kind of got it beat here. The seat feels a lot better. There's no cushioning for your butt in that one. There's at least a little bit of cushioning for this one. And this one gets a little bit more into your upper back area. And I find that's kind of usually my issue. Is that the issue isn't in my lower back having enough support. It's there's some support on my upper back area. So score another win for the Lifetime. The Sun Dolphin has uh, six scupper holes. The Lifetime has four scupper holes. No, it has six. Um, the Lifetime has got regular size scupper holes. They're great. Let a little bit of water in, let a lot of water out. The Sun Dolphin Journey, it's got really, really narrow scupper holes. Doesn't let much water in, but it doesn't let much water out. Uh, and the other issue is the seat area kind of is, you're almost the lowest part of the kayak is that seat. From where it's molded, I got a lot of water built up in my seat. I, it felt like I was just about sitting in water in that thing. I didn't have the issue in the Sun Dolphin, as you can kind of tell when you look at it, the feet area is below your, your butt. In the Sun Dolphin, your feet is in the same uh, level as your butt. So it's any water that gets in that little cockpit area, your butt's going to kind of be your center of balance, so it's going to all congregate there. You're going to be sitting in water the whole entire time. We're going to work back. They both have rear-facing uh, rod holders. They're, they seem to be back from probably about the same made by the same people. I don't think there's too big a difference there. Then when we get around to the back, 
send off and it's got the extra affordable accessory carrier. I'm not too crazy about it. It's not really going to be waterproof. Kind of just seems like it takes up a lot of space. When you take it out, there's a nice little kind of recessed area for you to set your stuff, but it's not a huge area. It's, it's pretty confined. That's kind of an issue with this whole thing is it's got some features, but it's really confined for some reason. I can't understand it. I'm, I'm about 6'2", 240 pounds. These are supposed to both be 10 foot kayaks. They're both supposed to have roughly the same weight limit. I felt like this was a lot better of a kayak for at least a guy my size. I did not have nearly the issues out of the lifetime as I did the Sun Dolphins. Uh, getting back to the back decks, the Sun Dolphins has got a like, really narrow and it's got a recessed deck, which is kind of nice. You don't have to worry about stuff falling over. You really shouldn't with the paracord bungee system anyway. The lifetime has got a flat deck back here with rear hatch access, which I really like. That's great for kayak camping. Like I said, I can put stuff, I can put gear all the way throughout this whole thing. Uh, and I can evenly distribute my weight. That's, that's a really important thing too when you're out in kayaks. They weigh about the same. The Sun Dolphin, I believe, is about 5 or 10 pounds lighter. If you feel the plastic, in my opinion, this, this plastic doesn't have as much give to it. It feels like it's a better plastic quality. And kind of if you look at it too, I feel like the Sun Dolphin may be two pieces that they bring together and melt back together. This lifetime, I believe, is just one solid molded piece. I believe it's just one injection molded piece. I feel like that's why it makes it better. As far as carrying, they both have front and rear carry hatch uh, handles, which is really nice when you have somebody to help you out. But you don't always have someone to help you out. So one of my main things is I need to make sure this thing is easily carryable by myself. These hatches, these handles over here on this lifetime, I pick this thing up all the time. It's not a big deal to carry this thing around at all. I, I have no issues carrying this around. It weighs about 45, 50 pounds. I can pick it up with one hand and do what I need to with it. The Sun Dolphin Journey 10 SS is a lighter kayak. I should have an easier time with it picking it up than that. But I don't have any handles that I can really grab onto. I can grab back here in the seat, but I'm going to rip that. I can grab this little leg protector, but I'm going to rip that. I can grab this bungee strap, but I'm going to rip that. So my only real option is to... Really, I have to use both hands. I don't have the ability to carry this one-handed. I don't think. I mean, I can carry it like that, maybe. But having those side handles is huge when you're transporting this thing. I don't know about y'all. I don't always go to boat ramps. Sometimes I've got to carry this thing down a 100 feet of creek bank to be able to launch. That's a deal breaker for me. I'm going to flip these things over, let you take a look at the bottom side. And, flip over, and it should be kind of obvious right off the get-go. These kayaks have completely two different holes. If you look at the Sun Dolphin, it definitely comes up a lot higher off the ground. I don't have anything stacked underneath this. It's on the exact same slope, exact same ground. The Sun Dolphin sits a lot higher up when you flip it over. Um, the other thing you kind of notice is this lifetime is a lot wider. It bows out from the front a lot faster, comes back to the end a lot slower. So it's, it's got a lot more surface area to make contact with the lake. That's why it's a lot more stable. If you also take notice, it's got these deep channels that run through it. I don't know why those are there. That should be flat. Um, this thing doesn't really get fast enough to have those channels in it. And it just really kills the stability. And, and like, you know, some of my videos you've seen, anytime you get just a little bit off weight bounce, which is really easy in this thing because it's not stable, those channels dig in and they'll send you turning in a direction you don't want to go in.
stopping this thing and you're gonna do a 180. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Thousand percent why? I'm, I'm assuming it's because of those deep channels they have. Right there.